Good day! This is a narrated presentation on Chapter 11, Intraspecific Population Regulation. As a population's density changes, interactions mediated by the environment occur among members of the population and tend to regulate the population size. These interactions include a wide variety of mechanisms relating to physiological, morphological, and behavioral adaptations. The following are the order of topics to be discussed. The presentation will be divided into four parts. Part 1 Section 11.1 .1. The environment functions to limit population growth. As the density of a population increases, the demand for resources also increases. Shrinking resources results in increased mortality, decreased fecundity, or both. The simplest form of representing changes in birth rates and death rates with increasing population is a straight line, or a linear function. Rates of birth, B, and death, D, is represented as a linear function of population size, N. The values B sub 0 and D sub 0 represent the ideal birth and death rates respectively, under conditions where the population size is near zero and the resources are not limiting. The values A and C represent the slopes of the lines describing changes in birth rates and death rates as a function of N, respectively. The population density where birth rate equals to death rate, or B equals D, and the population growth is zero is defined as K, or the carrying capacity. For values of N above K, the birth rate is less than the death rate and the population growth rate is negative. For the values of n below k, b is greater than d and the population growth rate is positive. We can describe the line representing the change in birth rate as a function of population size, which is b equals the ideal birth rate minus the slope of birth rates a multiplied by the population density or n. In this equation, b sub 0 is the intercept or the value of b when n is near 0, and a is the slope of the line. The intercept b sub 0 represents the birth rate achieved under ideal conditions, such as no crowding, and also with no resource limitation, whereas b is the actual birth rate, which is reduced as a function of crowding. We can represent the change in death rate as a function of population size by using this formula. d equals the ideal death rate, or D sub 0, plus the slope of death rate C, multiplied by the population density, or N. Again, the constant D sub 0 is the death rate when the population size is close to 0, where there is no crowding or resource limitation, and the constant C represents the increase in death rate with increasing population size. We can now rewrite the exponential model of population growth to include the variations in the rates of birth and death as a function of population size presented previously. As n increases, the birth rate declines and the death rate increases. The result is a slowing of the rate of population growth. If the value of d exceeds that of b, the population growth is negative and the population size declines. When the birth rate b is equal to the death rate d, the rate of population change is zero. The value of population size at which the birth rate is equal to the death rate represents the maximum sustainable population size under the prevailing environmental conditions. We can solve for this value by setting the equation for population growth equal to zero and solving for n. The result is n equals the ideal birth rate minus the ideal death rate over the sum of their slopes, which is a plus c. Because b sub 0, d sub 0, a and c are constants, this value of n represents a constant or a single value at which b equals d, and the population growth rate is 0. We define this unique value n as the carrying capacity, which is represented by the letter k. The carrying capacity, or k, is the maximum sustainable population size for the prevailing environment. It is a function of the supply of resources such as food, water, and space. We can now rewrite the equation for population growth that includes the birth and death rates that vary with population size using the value of carrying capacity k, which is defined previously. In this form, 
referred to as the logistic model of population growth, the per capita growth rate R is defined as B sub 0 minus D sub 0, or the ideal birth rate minus the ideal death rate. The logistic model effectively has two components, the original exponential term, or the per capita growth rate times the population density, and the second term, or 1 minus the population density times the carrying capacity, which functions to reduce population growth as the population size approaches the carrying capacity. When the population density n is low relative to the carrying capacity k, the term 1 minus n over k is close to 1.0, and the population growth follows the exponential model r times n or the per capita growth rate times the population density. However, as the population grows and n approaches the carrying capacity k, the term 1 minus n over k approaches 0, slowing the population growth. Should the population density exceed k, the population growth becomes negative and the population density declines towards the carrying capacity. We can use the rules of calculus to integrate the logistic growth equation and express population size as a function of time. Figure A shows the change in population size n through time as predicted by the logistic model of population growth. Initially, low values of n means that the population grows exponentially. As n increases, the rate of population growth decreases, eventually reaching zero as the population size approaches the carrying capacity or k. Figure B shows the relationship between the rate of population growth and the population size n. It takes form of a parabola reaching a maximum value at a population size of n equals k over 2 called the inflection point. This is the end of part 1. Part 2 will be linked in the description box.